Hey you guys and welcome to my kitchen this morning. I am so excited to share with you one of my favorite breakfast recipes. So this is a protein pancake recipe, but it is super macro friendly and it makes so many pancakes. So what I'm gonna show you today is one serving, okay? So I'm gonna have the recipe posted in the post along with the macros, so you don't really need to write anything down as you watch this. Um, we're gonna start by, actually I'm gonna plug in my skillet here, so it can be warming up. So I've already sprayed my skillet. And I'm just warming, warming it up here. Get this cord out of the way. Okay, so what we're gonna blend up, first we're gonna add in our liquid. So I've got here a half a cup of egg whites. Okay, we throw that in there. All right, then I'm gonna do just, just a splash of vanilla. I don't even know how much. It might be like half a teaspoon or something, but I kind of just fill up the cap just a little bit. Throw that in there. Okay. Now, for our dry ingredients, we've got um, a half cup of oats. This is 40 grams of oats. I've already measured it out. I'm gonna throw that in there. That's kind of the replacement of the flour. So ground oats. You don't. You can buy oat flour. Uh, I usually just use oats and then blend it all up together. Oh, we got another wet one. This is a half cup of pumpkin. You guys, this is what makes the pancakes so fluffy and vol voluminous. That's the right word, right? Voluminous. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in here. If you don't have pumpkin, you can also do like half a banana if you want more banana kind of flavor, banana bread pancakes. All right, this is just, I've pre-measured out all of our seasonings. So in here I have a fourth cup of baking soda, a fourth cup of baking powder, a fourth cup of cinnamon, and then an eighth cup, I'm sorry, I'm not saying cup, teaspoons. These are teaspoons, oh my gosh. We don't want a fourth cup of baking soda. A fourth teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder, and cinnamon, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger and nutmeg. Or you can use pumpkin pie spice. I like the ginger to, to stand out a little bit more, so I like to use a separate, but if you use pumpkin pie spice, I'd probably use uh, like a teaspoon or so, maybe a little bit less, okay? So I've got that in here. I also have a little, um, a little sprinkle of salt. Did you guys know that salt brings out the natural flavor in whatever you're cooking? I love salt, so good. Okay, throw that in there. And then I like to add like two packets of stevia right here. Okay, don't think I'm crazy, okay? Pumpkin pancakes, I'm actually gonna add peaches and cream protein powder. I know that sounds so weird. Actually, I usually use vanilla, but I've been using peaches and pumpkin as like an awesome combo lately. So I'm gonna use half a scoop of protein powder. So you can use vanilla, I've used cake batter, just a little bit sweeter, I've used chocolate, and of course peaches, okay? It'd also be good if you use banana instead of the pumpkin, and if you use like strawberry protein powder or chocolate. So we're gonna use a half a scoop of protein powder, any flavor you want, throw it in there. Okay, you see I've got my almond milk out here, so I'm gonna blend this, and if it's not quite runny enough, then I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk. But we're gonna try this and see how it goes. Okay, I want, can you guys see that consistency? I want a little bit more liquid, okay. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add, I don't know, probably a couple tablespoons of almond milk. I just kind of do it um, by eye. Okay, let me check that out. I want a little bit more liquidy, okay? Also, here's a tip. The more liquid that you make it, the more pancakes you're gonna get. They're not gonna be quite as fluffy. They're gonna be a little flatter. But we just want as many pancakes as possible, right? Always as many pancakes as possible. Okay, I think this might be it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I just spilled that all over my floor. See, <laughs> right there. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna throw this in the sink over here. You could even go a little bit more liquid than this if you want to, but this is good for me. I'm gonna do it about that size, okay? Sizzle, sizzle. We're getting likes for those. Uh, <laughs> look at there's three. 
Oh my gosh, we're still going, you guys. Four, pancake number four. Number four. And I feel like we have, I think we could do a Minnie Mouse or a Mickey Mouse. Let's do a Mickey Mouse, shouldn't we? Mm -hmm. There. Because if you guys have kids at home, you know you always have to do a Mickey Mouse, right? There's our Mickey. And then he's like blowing a kiss right there. Mickey's blowing a kiss. They're showing love for the Mickey. <laughs> Yay for Mickey. Okay, you guys. While these are cooking, I'm going to tell you that our protein powder is on sale right now. This is like the lowest it gets, you guys. $29.99. This sale goes for about another week or so. So hop on idealfit.com. Grab yours today. This is all flavors. You, you don't have to buy tons of, um, tons of them. You just get one at a time. $29.99. Awesome. Also, this protein powder or this protein pancake recipe is straight out of my 15-day challenge. Okay? So if you haven't done my 15-day challenge, it is super awesome. You get um, 13 workout videos, real-time workout videos, and three meal plans, all that go with my um, unique carb cycling approach for fat loss. Okay? The recipes are so yummy. As you can tell by this yummy protein powder recipe, what you're going to do is you're going to wait till it looks... I don't want to rush this, okay? You're going to wait till it looks kind of dry around the edges and it kind of bubbles in the middle. These are super thick. We could have watered it down a little more and done some thinner ones, okay? Are there any questions or anything? There are a lot of people saying good morning to you. Good morning. Someone from New Orleans. New Orleans. S someone wanted to know what the cost for your challenge is. The co well, the 15-day challenge is free and I will put that link in the post above my six week challenge is $89.99 and it comes with some freebies. So right now it's including two protein powders and sometimes it includes a shirt, sometimes it includes one protein and a BCA. Just kind of depends on what sale we're running at the moment. And the website for that is trainerlindsay.com. Okay, the website for the 15 day challenge that's free is uh, idealfit.com slash 15 dash day dash fit dash body dash challenge. So 15 day fit body challenge with dashes in between. Okay. Give me a like if you've done this. Heart, 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 heart. <laughs> yeah. Someone said they're, they love all your programs and they're not patiently waiting for your next one coming out in January. Oh, <laughs> you're not patiently waiting. Well, that makes me happy. I'm not patiently waiting for it either. There's a lot of hearts and likes coming out. <laughs> the day couldn't come soon enough. I'm so excited. And in that program, you guys, I'm not going to tell you kind of the main gist of it, but I will tell you there are so, there is so much good food on it. Like so much. I dare say even better recipes than what I've already put out there. It's just going to keep getting better and better. So don't go away. I feel like we can try to flip these now. Uh, someone asked, how do you know if you should use protein Ooh, powder or idle shape? Oh, that is a great question. These are like splattering. I think I'm trying to rush the flipping. No, they're still look good. Okay. Um, Mickey is going to get flipped. Okay, that's a great question. So really it depends on a few things. Uh, if, I like to think about how often you lift weights and how active you are. So if you're lifting weights regularly and you're getting closer to your goal weight, then ideal fit with the protein powder is where you want to be. If you struggle getting your workouts in and you're not quite as active as you wish you were and you have quite a bit more weight to lose, then using a meal replacement shake such as ideal shape um, will be a great option for you. Someone says, what is the most amount of protein shakes you can have in one day? That's a good question too. So I generally like to do no more than three scoops a day. I personally usually do one or two a day. I usually have, I always have a scoop post-workout after I lift. I almost always have one at bedtime as well. And sometimes I have one before my workout. Usually it's two scoops a day or I'll do a half scoop in one of those and some egg whites or like, you know, split the protein, half protein powder, half something else. So, but really there's, if, you, if sometimes if I have a really busy day, I've been known to have more sometimes. It's not, it's not going to hurt you. There's just, there's nothing in it that's going to be bad for you or anything. If you have too many, you just wouldn't, you just want to have whole foods a lot of times also. So that's the only downside of having protein powder all day long, every single day. So, all right, you guys, they kind of splattered, but I feel like they're ready to take off. Look at Mickey. Isn't he the cutest? We're going to have to leave him for on top. Oh, look at those splatters. That's kind of fun. Okay. These are like super thick, you guys. That's why I call them my fluffy pancakes. Fluffy pancakes, he's stuck to Mickey. And we're gonna put, we're gonna put Mickey. Hey, look it. We could actually make a Mickey with these. 
There, that's Mickey. See? <laughs> and then we're gonna put this cute Mickey right on top. Okay, look at you guys, that's one serving. I'm not even kidding you. One serving, okay? So what I would do is I would top this with some sugar-free syrup. Um, I like Walden Farms. There's no calories in it, it's sugar-free. Um, or if you don't like using artificial sweeteners quite that much, um, you can use like a, a pure maple syrup as well. You can put honey on them. You can, oh, one thing I love to do is I like to blend up berries and berries and some stevia and just use that as my syrup. That's what I do a lot of times. Um, it's really good with peanut butter on them as well. So these are my peach pumpkin protein, protein pancakes. Um, again, you don't have to use peach. I know that's kind of weird. You can use vanilla. That's what I've always used until peach came out. Totally normal. So I hope you guys love it and I will see you next time.